Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing my do-it-yourself recipe for creating an acne scar serum because I have experienced a lot of acne during my lifetime and now I have all of the acne scars to deal with. So I've started experimenting with different oils, different essential oils, and I've found these particular oils to work really well for my skin so far. So I wanted to share my serum with you. So for this recipe, I chose two carrier oils and three essential oils. So let me show you the carrier oils first. This is grapeseed oil. This is a very lightweight texture and it absorbs really quickly and easily. It doesn't leave you greasy at all. Um, this is rosehip oil. This is specifically known for skin cell regeneration. So it's excellent for scarring, acne scarring, wrinkles. Um, it's good if you have dry skin. It's basically good for any skin type because I have oily skin usually, but well, actually, since I've started using my oil regimen, my skin is like really balanced now and it's almost it's almost like normal so that's that's pretty good um, so anyways the rosehip oil is an excellent oil and I think that it's becoming more well known um, as a skin cell regenerator so that is an excellent oil and I've been using that for all kinds of um, little recipes I've been testing out and that always works fantastic on my skin um, now for the essential oils, I chose frankincense. Now all three of the essential oils that I chose are anti-inflammatory, antiseptic. Um, they're, I think two of them here are antifungal, but I'm gonna have all of the details on all of the oils on my new blog. And my new blog is beautytravelchannel.com. I will post that link below. That is my new blog that is going to be specifically dedicated to all natural beauty. Um, whatever it is, uh, skincare, uh, do-it-yourself recipes, everything is going to be posted on that blog because I found that it's easier that, you know, if I can write everything out instead of just relying on getting all my information to you guys through my YouTube videos. So I'll have that link posted below. So frankincense is one of the essential oils I'm using, lavender, and rosewood. So, like I said, I'll have all the details on each of the oils on the blog. And of course, you'll need something to mix all of your oils into. So I like to use these glass amber bottles. These are really inexpensive. You can find them at your health food stores usually. So I picked this up at my local health food store. It's just a one ounce glass amber dropper bottle. So that's what I will be using for this serum. So let's go ahead and get started mixing our oils. All right, let's begin with what I have out here and then we'll get to mixing up our serum. So I've got my grapeseed oil, my rosehip seed oil. These are my carrier oils I'm gonna be using. And then on this side, I have my three essential oils. So the ones I've chosen are the rosewood, frankincense, and lavender. Back here, I have my one ounce glass amber bottle and that's a dropper bottle. And I picked that up at my local health food store for less than two bucks. So I'm just gonna open up my dropper bottle here and the ratio that we're going to be doing is about 2%. So this is a one ounce bottle here. So that means I'm going to be taking about a 50-50 mix um, about, you know, of my rosehip oil and my grapeseed oil. So my carrier oils. And so that's going to bring it right about up to here. And then I'm going to add in 12 drops of my essential oils. So it's going to be four drops each of these. You don't need very much. These are extremely potent, extremely concentrated plant oils here. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my grapeseed oil. Alright, so right about to there is good. And then for my rosehip oil, now this particular bottle of rosehip seed oil had, uh, let's see here, it had this in it. So this is the little stopper. That's just a little plastic kind of a rubbery stopper that goes in there and so it's the dropper. So that's really easy to remove from any bottle that you need to if you need to be able to open it up so you can pour it out of there. And now for the essential oils. So like I said, we're doing a 2% dilution rate here, so I'm going to be trying to just stick with four drops each. Now for the frankincense. And lavender. Oops. 
so I think I got five drops in there. That's okay. As long as it's close, you don't want to overdo it with these because like I said, they are powerful and it only takes a little bit to be uh, effective. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put the lid back on there. So that's my recipe for post acne scarring serum and I have plenty other recipes that I'm gonna be doing. I think the next one's probably gonna be for possibly anti-aging. And there we have our new acne scar serum. I'm gonna be using this morning and night and I'm gonna keep this in the fridge to preserve its freshness because a lot of times with certain oils, especially like rosehip oil is one of them, it's best refrigerated. So you always wanna look, look at the label of each of your oils and if it suggests that it be refrigerated then you should go ahead and do that. And again, I will have more details on all of the oils on my blog which I will post that link below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, oh, and if you are curious, where I buy my oils. I usually buy most of them on Vitacost or my health food store. So I'll have that link down below too. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye.